Now moving on to the elements of transport layer. Here we are going to discuss about the addressing of transport layer, collection establishment and collection release. When it comes to talk about the addressing of transport layer, here it is the port number. Port number is actually the end point of any connection. So normally for any application, an application like uh, if it is an email, uh, the application layer protocol used is SMTP. SMTP has a port number. So the address of the transport layer is actually the port number and it varies from application to application. So if we search in internet about port number, we will get a number of list. Okay. See, every application layer protocol is having a corresponding port number and it is the end point. For example, for file transfer protocol, the port numbers are 20 and 21. For telnet, uh, it is 23. Then for DNS, it is 53. These are some application layer protocol that we will discuss very shortly. Post office protocol it is concerned with mail. It is having the port number 110. For dynamic host configuration protocol, it is 67 and 68. So every application layer protocol is having its own port number and that is the end point in any connection. Now connection establishment. The method we are using here is three-way handshake. So we have host 1 and host 2 and time goes down. So three-way handshake method. Initially host 1 sent a connection request to host 2 having the sequence number x. Host 2 sends an acknowledgement for the connection request received. This acknowledgement is having the sequence number y and it, it also carries the acknowledgement for sequence equal to x. Now host 1 can send data to host 2. This is the three-way handshake process of establishing a normal connection. Now let's check what happens if uh, some de delayed connection request reaches on the other side. So when a connection request carrying sequence equal to x reaches on host 2, host 2 is unaware that it is an old duplicate. It will reply uh, with an acknowledgement. Host 1 upon re receiving this acknowledgement realizes that it, it is a delayed duplicate because host 1 has uh, not buffered such a sequence number for connection request. So it will send a reject, reject and it is having the acknowledgement number y, it, sequence number of acknowledgement is y, the same one. So this is the case of three way handshake of handling a delayed duplicate. Now, a de next is the case of a delayed connection request and a delayed uh, data. So when a connection request uh, reaches on host 2, as usual it sends an acknowledgement. So host 2 is waiting for any, uh, some data from host 2. So we got a data carrying a sequence number equal to x and acknowledgement of is z. But host 2 is not waiting for any acknowledgement carrying sequence number Z. So it will understand that it is a delayed duplicate. Also, host 1 on receiving an acknowledgement carrying sequence equal to Y, it will reject the connection. So with the help of the sequence number, host 1 and host 2 can easily identify a delayed duplicate and it can reject the connection request. Now connection release. So what will happen? A connection disconnect request, a disconnect request is sent from host 2 at a certain time interval. At this time, at this point of time, the connection between host 2 and host 1 is closed and any data received after this time interval won't be received by host 2. So how to deal with connection release? Only if host 1 and host 2 comes to a mutual agreement, then only they can disconnect or disconnect connection. Otherwise, it can lead to abrupt 
disconnection and loss of data so it should be avoided connection release should be designed in such a way to avoid any data loss so how to overcome such a problem so we have host one sending a disconnect request at the same time it will start a timer host two upon receiving the dr sends an acknowledgement dr again host two starts a timer on receiving the disconnect request acknowledgement from host two host one will release connection at this point of time and host one replies an acknowledgement host two on receiving it release connection so this is the normal case of three way handshake method of releasing connection so what will happen if some disconnect request or acknowledgement is lost here the acknowledgement is lost but host two has started a timer when this timer time out host two release connection because host two is aware of the fact that host one is ready to disconnect and host two also gave permission so after the time out interval host two disconnect connection here host one release connection so e easily host one and host two can manage even if the acknowledgement is lost now another case where disconnect request reply from the host two is lost but it should be dealt in a different manner host one host one at this point of time is not aware of the fact that host two is ready to disconnect so again it will send a disconnect request and wait for the acknowledgement disconnect request from host two so if a, if initially a disconnect request or an acknowledgement is lost host one will again reset dr at this point host one release connection and upon receiving acknowledgement host two release connection now there can be a chance that uh, the subsequent disconnect request are lost in such a case both will start timer host two will release the connection when the time out occur but host one will again recent disconnect request but subsequent drs are lost after n time out host one will release connection so uh, otherwise the connection will wait uh, connection will continue for a long time so this is three way handshake method of connection establishment and release